morning guys welcome back to the vlog it is monday january 31st it's actually my mom's birthday so mom if you're watching this happy birthday so welcome back guys we are doing a day in the life today it is around like eight in the morning so i am on my way to the gym right now and um i've got a full day at work today too so follow along i will see you guys when my workout's done I'm about to leave right now. I just got ready. Um, I took Digo on a little walk and I was gonna film a little bit of it, but he was like actually psychotic, so that was not happening. He was just so pumped to be out and I could barely handle him. I'm about to leave. Show you guys my outfit really quick. All right, I just have on this tan colored sweater from Target. And I just have a gold chain. I think this is from Shein. These are Target mom jeans. I got these last year, so I don't know if they still have them. And then um, these are my Adidas Falcons. They are super color stained, but they are like my go-to shoe for when I have long days at the salon. And, or I'm doing darker colors. And I have both. I have a long day and I'm doing dark colors. So I'm going to go ahead and get Deagle all situated in three, And then I'll be on the road. All right, guys. Let's get started on client number one. This is her before. She's just a faded red. I... Did her hair back in December, and I believe she was actually in another vlog too. So if you want to see how I did that, go ahead and check back a few vlogs ago. Um, but we're doing pretty much the same thing, except we are darkening her base, which I did first with Redken Shades of Cute Cream 3N. And then I actually rinsed that out, and then here I am at the bowl doing a boliage on her. Because since we are brightening up her red, I just kind of wanted to pop up, open her cuticle just a little bit. Um, I obviously don't need to make her blonde or anything. But just so that the color can just take the best. Um, I pre-toned her with Colora Gloss. Uh, they were, it was 9KV and 9RA. They're seasonal shades though. They're not sold anymore. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't believe you can get them. Um, and then here is her end color processing. So her end color I did Pulp Riot's Countess. Or Countess. I'll write it down below how you spell it. Um, but here's the after. We are obsessed. It is so pretty. It's like a nice raspberry shade and that's exactly what she wanted with just a little bit of a deeper root. Uh, she was like more of a level four, but we took her down to a level three this time. So that is why I did the boliage and that's also why I did her roots separately than her ends because permanent colors, demi-permanent colors and semi-permanent melts don't blend very well together a lot of the time. So at this point, it was around 1.30, so I had a quick, had like 20 minutes for lunch, thankfully. And then we're moving straight on to client number two, so that we are doing a half highlight on her today. She is around like a level five. She had a little bit of gray, but not enough that I didn't, I didn't really want to fully cover it, especially because she's pretty low maintenance with her color routine. So I just did um, like a gray blending technique. And here is her after. She just wanted she wanted to stay brunette, but just have a lot of dimension in it. So I did, for her root, I did a root smudge of Color Gloss 4N, 5NB. And then her ends, I did Color Gloss again, 8AI and 8GI. And we loved it. Client number three was a haircut. I definitely forgot to record that. So we are on to client number four, my last client of the day. And this is her before. She just got her hair back, done back in October. So she didn't need a whole time, but we just wanted to refresh it a little bit. So we just did a partial. And then we did um, a super ashy uh, melt on her then too. So I did Color Gloss 7N, 7A, 7AI. And then her ends was Color Gloss again, 8A, 9AI, 9A, and a little bit, or 9AA, I'm sorry, and a little bit of 9GI just to kind of help keep it bright and help the color stay. I've learned even with ashy colors that it's really nice to add just a little bit of GI because I feel like it helps them stick a little bit longer with having that gold and that warmth in there a little bit. So here is her after. And then my day is finished now. It's around like 8.30 and I'm just finishing up. I'm cleaning up the rest of my dishes. I try to clean them up as I go throughout the day, but sometimes when the day gets crazy, I just kind of wait till the end and I was actually the last to leave the salon this night so here I am just turning all the lights off and locking everything up and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!